White House wastes no time drawing new speaker into abortion politics Joe Biden the president and former six-term senator offered his congratulations Wednesday to House Speaker-elect Mike Johnson, saying he wanted to find common ground and to put the good of the American people and the everyday priorities of American families above any partisanship. Joe Biden the 2024 presidential candidate sees Johnson not as a governing partner but as an anti-abortion Republican boogeyman the party is ready to use in its 2024 campaigns to take back control of the House of Representatives and hang on to the White House. Time equals 400 ms. Greater than, MAGA Mike Johnson's ascension to the speakership cements the extreme MAGA takeover of the House Republican Conference, Amar Musa a spokesperson for the Biden-Kamala Harris campaign, said in a statement released minutes after the Louisiana Republican was sworn in to the new post, now, Donald. Trump has his loyal foot soldier to ban abortion nationwide, led efforts to deny free and fair election results, gut Social Security and Medicare, and advance the extreme MAGA agenda at the expense of middle-class families, the statement said, referring to former President Donald Trump's, Make America Great Again, campaign slogan, Johnson. Selected through a painful and divisive process after Republicans ousted their previous speaker, Republican Representative Kevin McCarthy of California, has had a low profile and is not well known to voters nationally. An Economist, YouGov poll released Wednesday found that just 1% of Americans wanted Johnson as speaker, indicating that few knew who he was. Time equals 400 ms. greater than but Democrats see a chance to make Johnson a poster boy for the anti-abortion movement, just as Republicans successfully sued former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, California Democrat, as a symbol of all things dangerously liberal. The outcry among abortion rights supporters, especially female voters, helped Democrats hang on to control of the Senate last year and limit GOP gains to just a handful of votes in the House. It was, in fact, the Republicans' razor-thin majority that enabled the bitter intraparty fight that led to a historic three weeks with no speaker. Soon after Johnson's swearing-in, Biden called the lawmaker to congratulate him, the White House said. But on social media, the Biden-Harris campaign and Democratic officials and candidates immediately slammed Johnson for his record and statements on abortion. Johnson is one of the biggest anti-choice extremists in Congress. He wants to ban all abortions without exception, to the point of criminalization with prison sentences, Rep. Don Bayer, Virginia Democrat, posted on social media. He attached remarks by Johnson praising Louisiana's abortion ban and penalty of hard labor for 1 to 10 years, and fines of $10,000 to $100,000 for those who perform abortions. The Biden-Harris campaign's digital response team quickly posted a video of Johnson at a hearing denouncing the 1973 Roe v. Wade ruling guaranteeing abortion rights, and suggesting women needed to follow through with pregnancies so America had enough employees. Roe v. Wade gave constitutional cover to the elective killing of unborn children in America, Johnson says in the video, which was also posted by the Democratic National Committee and the Lincoln Project. A group of Republicans who oppose former President Donald Trump, if you think about the implication of that on the economy, we're all struggling here to cover the bases on Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid and all the rest. If we had all those able-bodied workers in the economy, we wouldn't be going upside down and topping over like this. He added. The Biden-Harris campaign and other groups circulated and posted images of three bills Johnson has sponsored that the Democrats said would ban abortion nationwide. Johnson's election pleased anti-abortion forces, who are hoping to enact national restrictions or a ban on abortion now that the Supreme Court reversed Roe in June 2022. SBA Pro-Life America, which backs anti-abortion candidates, celebrated Johnson's ascension to second in line for the presidency, calling him a longtime defender of constitutional principles, chief among them the right to life. Time equals 400 ms. greater than we are thrilled by the election of Speaker Johnson and look forward to working closely with him to advance national protections for unborn babies, serve mothers, and grow the pro-life House majority in 2024, the group's president, Marjorie Dannenfelser, said in a statement. But Democrats think the issue will work to their 
electoral benefit next year. Already, six states, Michigan, California, Vermont, Kentucky, Kansas and Montana, have passed referendums that either enshrined abortion rights or rejected efforts to undo the right to abortion. Another referendum, one that would guarantee abortion rights, is on the ballot next month in Ohio. A poll by the Kaiser Family Foundation in May found that 30% of voters will cast a ballot only for a candidate who supports their views on abortion. Broken down, that includes 46% of Democrats, 23% of Independents and 20% of Republicans, suggesting Democrats are more likely to make abortion rights a central test for candidates. Further, the survey found. Democrats have an edge among self-described independents in the poll, with 36% of independents saying Democrats more closely represented their views on abortion and 13% saying Republicans' views on the issue were closer to their own. These numbers have Democrats believing they can keep the White House and flip the House, and Johnson has put a face to that effort. Mike Johnson is a dangerous threat to reproductive freedom, just like the rest of his caucus, Minnie Timaraju, president of Reproductive Freedom for All, said after Johnson was made speaker. His election as speaker only serves to underscore the urgency of electing reproductive freedom champions to Congress so we can take back the gavel in 2024.